Well, we're going to keep you with Ireland because Sarah Eisen interviewed the EU president. It's a Bloomberg exclusive, exclusive that is. Sarah, what did he say? Deirdre, he did not rule out a bailout for Ireland. Look, investors were cheered by the successful bond deal David was just talking about in Ireland this morning. But there are still major doubts. Will Ireland follow in Greece's footsteps and take a bailout from the EU and the IMF? I asked that to President Barroso. We are following the situation very closely, but so far all the information we have is that the situation is under control. They are taking the right measures. The government of Ireland has taken, in fact, uh, very courageous measures from the beginning, the Irish uh, citizens in general, and we are following the situation. But we believe they have the capacity, uh, also with European Union support, of course, to face uh, any kind of more difficult situation. Over the course of the interview, he was careful not to fuel what he was calling negative speculation running through the markets about Europe. And when I asked him about those tough austerity plans, tough spending cuts, whether they would choke off any recovery, he was pretty defensive. At the European Union aggregate, mm -hmm. our debt levels are lower than the Americans or, yeah. or, or, or the Japanese. Yes. Uh, and our, our overall position is balanced. This is very important, but in fact, the markets have made the distinction between some different situations in some of member states, including some that are more vulnerable. Right. And that's why it is important at European level, more than anything else, to restore the credibility, restore the credibility. and this cannot be done with high levels of debt. Bottom line, President Barroso is aware of the concerns out there. For, for instance, that European banks may need more capital than outlined in the stress test, that there's not a solid plan beyond the three-year EU IMF bailout. But he refuses to indulge those concerns at this point. He really wants markets to understand he is not wasting this crisis. He is working behind the scenes to rewrite the rules, draft historical new plans for Europe, prevent the problems down the road, and most importantly, Deirdre, win back investor confidence on Europe.